What is going on YouTube? My name is Eduardo Marino. If you can't pronounce my name with the O, just call me Doty as that is my nickname. Today I'm gonna show you five apps that I believe you should have if you're a filmmaker, photographer, whatever creative individual you like to label yourself. These are some apps that are not only gonna save you money, but they are gonna save you some time and most of all, headaches. So pull up your iOS or your Android phone and let's jump right into it. So the first app I'm gonna go through, it's called Fetch Awards. This app is a hack. At one point of our career, Pat, we all had to be a PA, right? We all had to go keep track of a ton of receipts that are gonna be for crafty lunch meals. Oh, and let's not forget the secret coffee run for your needy director and producer. Oi, how come I don't get a coffee, huh? The heck? So you already taking a ton of photos to send them over to your producer or line producer to keep track of all your expenses of the show. And you might as well snap another photo using this app because this app, per every receipt that you take a photo, it's gonna give you points who are later on gonna stack up and you're gonna be able to redeem yourself like an Amazon gift card, a Target gift card, or a Starbucks gift card. This is awesome if you're a PA because you're pretty much tracking a ton of receipts if you especially have a gig that lasts like a week or a month. So why not get some extra points out of it that eventually are gonna be some extra money in your pocket. And the cool thing is that, I mean, you don't have to do it while you're PA. You could do it for your everyday life as well. When you go grocery shopping, when you're at the gas station, you could also get points from that. The other cool thing is that if you have a line producer that loses your receipt, or loses the original copy, you have a second copy on this app as well. You can just find the exact dollar amount and snap another photo and send it to your needy producer. Make sure you just snap a photo using Fetch Awards app. Eventually you're gonna be able to have enough points where you're gonna be able to redeem yourself a gift card. And that's free money. Why not? Moving on to the next app, numero due. That is drivers know. As a freelancer, we all have to keep track of our miles so we can write them off as expensive later on the years when we do our taxes. Or sometimes you have to report them directly to your employer, who then that company is gonna be able to reimburse you when you get paid. So there's a ton of mileage tracking apps out there. A lot of them, in my opinion, are just too confusing. They have too many features and they're just like too much to deal with. I could just want an app that simply hits go, tracks, boom, report, send, that's it. And that is driver's note. This app is so simple. I could just simply start tracking a trip it's gonna automatically ping my point on whatever I'm starting my trip. It's gonna start tracking your miles until you hit stop. Once you hit stop, all of these trips are gonna be able to go to your report tab, who are then gonna be able to be viewed on a PDF file, who then you could send to your employer. Super easy. I haven't seen any other app do it as clean and nice and neat as this one. So get yourself driver's know and start tracking those miles so you can get some money back. App number three, and that is called Acid Tiger. So I'm a filmmaker, photographer, also restaurant owner, but my day-to-day -day job is actually managing equipment and studio spaces for the past five years. And I've used all kinds of equipment tracking software such as R1, Rental Works, Check Room, Current, and they're all amazing programs, but they're very pricey. And that is because, you know, they can handle a huge load of inventory assets and do a ton of great features that can accommodate a big production company. So if you're a filmmaker, or photographer who wants some equipment, you want to keep a good track of your equipment. I think you should all have an eyeball of where things are, of how many things you have, how many pieces of this you have. So it is always a good idea to always keep a great track of your equipment, especially when you're lending out a lens to your friend or a couple extra batteries to the other friend. You wanna know where things are when they're expected to be coming back so that you can follow up if they're not returning. Hey, yo, what the my lens. I, I need it for like a couple more days. Bring it now. This app is the only app that is gonna allow you to track 250 assets for free on your phone. You could also use this app on your laptop as well. If you have less than 250 assets in your own inventory, you should get this app and start tracking your own gear. Like I do here for my drone, for my batteries, for my little monitor. Add the cost, serial number, barcode, 
take a photo of it. When you check a big in, you can scan the barcode with your own phone camera. I mean, it's amazing. In case of an item that comes back broken, you could put it under service so that way you don't mistakenly check it back out and you could do so many cool things that are gonna be able to keep a good track of where things are and when are they expected to come back. So if you're a DP or a photographer who owns some equipment, get this app and start tracking your equipment. You're welcome. App number four, and that is called Boomerang. And this app is a saver. I know we're all busy. I know we have a lot of things going on in our lives and our email, inbox just keep stacking it up and when you have some people that you want to follow up with in the next week or in the next month or the next couple of days you just forget because we have so much going on with this app you can pretty much boomerang yourself so pretty much bump up that email at the top of your inbox when you want it to be so you could do tonight, tomorrow, in the next couple of days. You could pretty much also say your own date, exactly at what time and what day you want this email to go back at the top of your inbox. That way you never forget to respond to an email or to follow up to any of your crew members, producers, or connection that you want to respond to on your inbox. So do yourself a favor, get yourself this app and you'll never miss a follow up, I promise. I'm gonna boomerang myself, so I remind myself to tell you to get boomerang, so then you can boomerang yourself and remind yourself to subscribe and hit like button. Don't forget. Last app, and that is app number five, and that is called Team Viewer, bro. If you don't have Team Viewer, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Just, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Since the pandemic happened, this program or software has been the saver for many work from home people. This has allowed many editors to work from home and access remotely their post working machine at the office while they're just sitting at home at their couch with their shitty laptop. They could just control a freaking beast ass computer that is sitting at their company. Cool thing is there's an app for this. You can pretty much access your computer from home by just putting your ID and password, control it with your phone and make sure that those uploads that you're sending to your producer or to your client are going there smoothly. There's been a ton of occasions where I've been uploading footage to a client and something goes wrong but I'm in the middle of the shoot and I cannot go back there until my 12 hours is done and so when I have downtime now on lunch break I could just simply log into my computer make sure the upload is going smooth and if not I could just restart the upload using my phone by controlling remotely my computer and send those files over at a hotel room you're chilling you have nothing to do you could just simply control your computer from your phone at home and edit another next YouTube video. Who knows? But there's so many things that you could do. Make sure you have TeamViewer on both of your machines and make sure you know the, exactly the ID and password and access remotely whenever you need to. So do yourself a favor and download TeamViewer. It's gonna save you a ton of time and it's gonna make you also much, much more productive. So. Go for it. And there you have it. These are my top five essential apps that I think you should have as a filmmaker or a creative individual. There's a ton more out there and I'll be sure to leave my recommendations down below. So be sure to check them out. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm gonna be releasing more and more videos just like this one. Let me know also in the comment down below what you think, what your recommendations are, what do you think if you ever use these apps or not. So be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.